There are behemoth ships in Starfield. They are, by far, the hardest encounters. If you really want a challenge, put it on to very hard and go hell for leather. Because these ships can test even some of the best built vessels that you can come up with. If you're not familiar with these ship encounters, there are three legendary encounters that turn into little quests. These events are random and can be anywhere in the Starfield universe. But what if I told you that you can defeat these legendary ships with nothing but three electromatic weapons attached to your ship? that do no damage basically, and doesn't take the whole day. It sounds like madness. First, we have to visit a very unknown, but rather powerful strategy that you can use if you just wanted to use electromagnetic weapons. Now, there's obviously no real reason you'd ever do this, but I made another video where I was talking about the best electromagnetic weapon, and I found myself in a very silly situation where I had only three electromagnetic weapons attached to my vessel, which means as soon as I got into a ship engagement, I was stuffed because I couldn't, couldn't run, couldn't hide, so I had to try to figure out a way to just use EM weapons to annihilate these hordes of ships. So I spent a lot of time testing. And this method will probably surprise a lot of people. I don't really think I've seen this covered anywhere. But this method is almost overpowered to a degree if you wanted to play like this. And it involves attaching as many electromagnetic weapons as you possibly can. And here's an example. We'll disable all the weapons, the engine, everything. And then we simply use our shield and ram the ship to death. You, you might not realize this, but every time you ram a ship, it does quite considerable amount of damage. And you don't even need speed or a lot of weight. You just need to be able to tapity tap tap the ship quite quickly in, in quick succession. And the health just rockets down to zero. Now do note, this is on normal, but it works so freaking well. It kills the ships very quickly. A little bit of control and finesse. And you can take on hordes of ships because they all become powerless and just float in space. And again, you take out the engine, the weapons. The ships become helpless and then you can just ram them now you do take a little bit of damage yourself but that's why you have all the ship parts bing bada boom it's no worries but how would this actually work against the biggest baddest humongous legendary ships in all of starfield ah well wasn't as bad as you would think but this is how i did it and so there they are the shroud bearer three accompanied ships you'll always find at least three accompanied vessels in these encounters now my theory was i would start on the outside and attack the ship on the outer edge and try to disable the ship, the uh, weapons and engine ASAP. Because the idea is just to get all the ships stunned as quick as possible. Stunned meaning all their weapons are gone, they can't move, and then you have sort of free roam and range to take out whichever one you want in whatever order. But that was sort of the mission objective when I was trying to figure out how the best way to do this. The first target was the Eulogy 3. And I was taking absolute punishment trying to just get to it. My ship is so slow. Definitely probably would do this with the faster ship make it a much easier if you did want to try this madness now once we've got it locked on it's very quick to take out all the weapons weapons go down instantly and then it's just the engine we didn't get to get the engine in that first lock on but that's okay because we got the weapons that's really the main thing because we need to try get everyone's weapons down so we don't get destroyed ourselves now keep in mind i've got like i don't know 40 to 60 ship parts because this will take a ton of ship parts if you did want to try this. Now, my next target, because I was so close, was the Shroud Bearer. The Shroud Bearer has no shield, so it's just super easy to take out all its weapons, rendering it completely useless in this engagement. This is really taking out the other minor ships, and we were able to capture the him quite quickly, so take out all of its weapons. So now there's only really one ship to worry about that can really do a lot of damage to us. Do note, the ships will repair, and slowly they will get back to maximum uh, what's it called power for their weapons but it is quite slow so you do have quite a lot of time but realizing this the last one and we are just going to take down its shields once we get a lock on take it out the weapons and now we have plenty of time so this one we can take out the engine and then we can do the good old faithful tactic of just ramming them now it's actually really helpful to have a slower ship or put down the power very like to the lowest setting because you don't really want a lot of speed now i was getting attacked by the eulogy so i switched target it was the first one we targeted so it's shield its weapons did repair now it's completely useless we've locked on and now we can start ramming it so it's nice and close so we tap it tap it again tap look how quick that health bar goes down it's just so quick and crazy now do keep in mind you need to keep repairing your shield to make this manageable because your shield is what's doing the damage is at least my understanding him got its weapons back up so we'll target that one next take it all down get in nice and close it can't fly away so we can just sit there and ramming it now these smaller ships don't seem to do very much or much damage to your shield or your ship 
you'll notice later when we go to the shroud area it gets a bit different and now again the last ship's rendered absolutely useless we'll just use our behemoth of weight to slowly crush this thing into dust and then all three of the accompanied ships are gone the shroud bearer is just sitting there can't do anything it's just sitting there watching its friends get absolutely destroyed now we can target it now i think this is where it gets a bit tricky as far as I was testing, there's no real way to take the engines out on this vessel, no matter how much you pump it full of EM weapons. I could be wrong, I just didn't spend a lot of time on it. But now this part, we won't watch it all, we'll just flick through bits of it, but it's basically trying to get into a position where we can tap and ram it. And you can see it does a little bit of damage, so this just takes, you know, probably like 20 minutes if you're <laughs> if you're crazy like me and wanted to see if this would work. It is much better to have a slower engine just so you can sort of sit and keep getting into a position where you can just tap it constantly. And you need a lot of ship parts because the Shroud Bearer will do a lot of damage. So keep that in mind. But that's all you need to do. You just sit there and tap, tap, tap away. Keep taking out the weapons as it will repair. It's quite a fast ship too, even just um, cruising speed. Now I did a bit of both where I was using my electromatic weapons too and I kept firing just to do a tiny little bit of damage. They really do next to nothing. You do more damage by hitting it eat by far. And then this process just keeps going on until you get to like the final stages where it's just down to its last fraction of health and we just keep tapping it like a hammer to a nail tap 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 and it looks really cool because the explosion when this thing blows up it really blows up and that's a massive explosion all the bits fly everywhere and it looks fantastic but you can see you can kill these legendary ships with nothing but electromatic weapons and say like a ton of ship parts can be done. I just thought it was a really cool way to try play it a bit differently. I thought I'd share it with you. Now I would, God forbid, we could try this on the Cumulus if I can find it. If you do have a saved game with the other legendary ships intact, I would love to give it a crack. So if you're happy to share that saved game with me, that'd be really cool. Been trying to find it, but I just have no luck. They're so rare. But there you go. So this is the EM em ship body slam method or some other cool name that people can come up with where you have weapons that do no damage and bing bada boom you can still win and fly around using only these rather pathetic weapons but hey i actually find them but in this process i found a whole new appreciation for em weapons i think they're actually kind of over overpowered in a way because they're so quick to disable weapons it really does change uh, the ebbs and flows of battle but yeah if you found this interesting le do let me know in the comments i thought this was really cool you might not but definitely let me know what you think. Am I crazy for trying this? Is it completely lame using electromatic weapons? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you later. Peace.